Hey, welcome back to the Reflecting Redemption YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I have a fun video planned for today. And in honor of Mother's Day and looking forward to celebrating that, I have a DIY Mother's Day photo wreath for you today. I made these last year for my mom, mother-in-law, and grandmother, and they loved them. So I am filming it for you so you can see exactly how to make these photo wreaths. If you would like to do something DIY for your mom, grandma, mother-in-law this Mother's Day, then this might be something really cool for you to do. And uh, if you do make one, make sure that you post it and share it and tag me in it on Instagram or Facebook. I would really appreciate that. Let's get started making today's uh, DIY Mother's Day wreath. So first I'm gonna show you the materials that you're gonna need for the project. I've just set this out on my kitchen table for you to see. I have a 12 inch flower wreath, some wire snips that I stole from my husband, and then I uh, blunted them. So he had to get a new pair, so they're officially mine. <laughs> That's how you do it, ladies. I've got some flower twine wire, scissors, hot glue, and glue sticks. I got some twine, or just this. It's like a brown, it's like a very thin rope. And then also this burlap that I use for the back of the wreath. You can use whatever backing you want. You don't have to use a backing at all, but when I show you the wreath process, you're gonna see the back is pretty ugly with all of the wire and the flower, um, just the different flower stems sticking out and uh, hot glue bubbles and photo, like the photo edges and things. So I found this from a wedding that I did and I've used it in other craft projects around the house and I already had some laying around. So I just grabbed it and I used it for the backing, but you could buy any fabric, anything you want. I just wanted this burlap. And then obviously I have my flowers. So I chose a 12 inch wreath. You might want one that's bigger. Um, you might want to do a hoop, but I wanted all this space so I could weave the flowers through, but I didn't want anything too big. I wanted to be able to get the eight by 10 photo in there really nicely and not have too much spillover, but also not be too small. So it was the perfect size for me. And then I went to Walmart and I just picked out, and if, these are only 97 cents, y'all. And I just picked out these little pink roses. I found peonies before too that I actually really love. Um, and then I found these dahlias, white, and then this was my favorite one. And it was like 350, I believe. It was the biggest one. Yeah, 347. But it was the greenery filler that I was wanting. I love the purple in this. I love the little white flowers. It does shed a bit, which is the only thing I hate. Anything with those, they just tend to shed. But you can go to Hobby Lobby, um, Michaels, Walmart, literally anywhere that they sell fake florals and grab whatever it is that you like or you think that the mom in your life is going to like. Or if you're making it for yourself, just tailor it to you. But this is what I chose, and I did the same for everyone, just so everybody's was, I don't know. It's They're all a little bit different with the picture, but everybody's got the same flowers and colors, so I knew kind of my pattern and what I was working with. But I chose this greenery because I really loved it, and it's a really great filler. And yeah, those are the materials that you need to get started on this project. Almost forgot to mention, um, I'd shown this one and the 8x10, but I got these 8x10s as well. One for my mom and one for my grandmother. So I'm going to show you those in progress, but I chose some very like... Uh, a little more candid, a little more like just joyful... And plus, we don't we don't do a lot of like super formal photos that turn out well on my side of the family. Matt's side of the family does a lot better job picking the pictures out. But this one I just thought was really sweet because it's uh, her four kids. I thought about doing something big, but we have a lot of people in our family. So I just chose to go with her four kids. And then I just went with 
the grandkids here because this was a more recent one. And then I just love this picture of my mom, so I went with it. So that's what I chose. But you really want the uh, portrait style, um, not the landscape style. I guess you could. I mean, you could do a landscape style in there. But the portrait really works out well. And so you can see on this one. And then I wanted to quickly show you what I meant about the back. So this is what I've done. And, of course, it doesn't look perfect. But it is. I need to cut that. It is a little bit better as far as the back than just all of the wire and all of the florals and stuff hanging out. You can still see a little bit of it up here, but I didn't want to close that gap because I didn't do a bow because this is what you hang it with. But, of course, you can add a bow if you want to. So, yeah, that's what the back looks like, and I'm actually going to trim that a little bit. It's not perfect, and if you've got one big sheet of burlap and didn't just use like what you had on hand, you wouldn't have to overlap it, and you could just cut the perfect circle and have it ready to glue on when you're done and just leave like a little hole or gap for you to hang it with or put a bow. But anyway, this is what I did. I started by cutting the flowers all off of their stems and putting them into piles. I saved all of the leaves so that I could use them for filler later. Um, I just took the snips and snipped each flower individually so I could start wrapping it in the pattern that I want around the floral wire.
toward the end, I just finessed as much as I wanted to and used my hot glue to pin certain flowers and leaves in certain places to fill in any gaps or any showing wire, and then I got it ready to put a photo inside of. It was actually really fun. It did take a bit more time than I expected, so just give yourself plenty of time um, and space when you go to do it. I was in a rush to actually go to our Mother's Day dinner this day. <laughs> But I did get it accomplished, and I got to hand it out to my grandmother, mother, and mother-in-law, and they all really liked it. So I hope that you will enjoy this project, and I can't wait for you to see the finished results. much for watching this made a really big mess that I have to clean up but it's only because I didn't have all my ducks in a row I ran out of my backing material it is actually our Saturday that we do our Mother's Day dinner with my mom and grandmother so I had to try to rush and get these done this morning I procrastinated a bit and had a really busy week but anyway um, this is the finished product I will let you know how she liked it and how my grandmother liked it it takes quite a bit of finesse and things like that at the end and just placing the flowers, hot gluing them where you want them. And of course it's not gonna be perfect, but it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to look handmade and hopefully they'll love it. So we will see. Thank you so much for watching.